All right. Me and Kim are in Gettysburg, not Gatling. <laughs> and we are doing a ghost tour, and we don't really know where we're going. <laughs> um, through one of, there's a lot of different companies up here that do it, but we're supposed to go to two different locations tonight, um, and it's starting to rain, so we are going to meet up with the group now, and um, then I guess we're going to see where we're going to go from there. Um, I think we probably have like an hour and a half at each location, or something like that. We have discovered that we are going to McCurdy Schoolhouse. We are supposed to follow this man with his four ways and uh, figure it out. It has not been a nice night so far. It is very rainy. Um, yeah. How they be wet? No, not particularly. It seems to be slowing down though. Like I said, we're going to be inside, I assume, once we get there. I don't really know if they're going to be giving us lots of like history and stuff like that, but well, I guess we'll find out. It's like the perfect drive to a ghost town. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, so we just, what, we just finished the... Uh, it wasn't a tour, but an explanation. Yeah. And there's a tons of people here, so we're probably not going to get anything done. <laughs> hey, it's a small little building. But we have a little cat ball. They do give us a nice little kit of stuff. Because, like, the mail meter, that, that's theirs. Tell us your name, just talk into that. Hmm? Supposed to be kids. Hmm. I'm getting out of the kid level. And then you have to get back up to adult level. I know. <laughs> Can you join me? Can you go sit in that chair over there for me? Ew, what are you? Huh? Oh, just a big, gross, big, gross oh. ant trying to kill me. Oh. If there's any soldiers here, can you tell me your name and rank, please? This is the schoolhouse that we've been investigating or trying to investigate. Okay. Yeah, supposedly, the tour guy was telling us that they see people have seen like kids from the school and possibly soldiers in the woods line, so we kind of stepped outside from the chaos, because someone was playing Frozen, um, to kind of look to see if we can see any speck. <laughs> There's some other people down there doing a ghost box session. And he said, don't go in the woods, but you can walk up to it. So that's what we will do. I don't want to walk into the dark, scary woods in the middle of the night anyway.
Are you older than the age of 10? Okay, across, please. Are you a woman? Okay, thank you. Can you across them, please? This is the, I'm just going to walk around the schoolhouse here a little bit. It's a very small building. I really appreciate it. Do you think you can touch one of these devices here? Let me know that you're here. I'm sure you're familiar with them all. Nope. Mine's a little bit different than that. Yeah, one of the things we were told is that this gives off the hmm. EMF spike. And I have one of the EMS we were provided, so I'm just kind of seeing here if it will give off one. Getting ready to go to the second location, uh, if that was really scattered, um, it's because like the building was very small and I kind of tried to say it, but there's some guy who just like played music the entire time for like almost like two hours. I think it was we were in there for like two hours. An hour and a half. An hour and a half, so. and you just played like music the whole time. That was like all copyrighted stuff, so I was like, well, I can't very well like the recording for that. So like the audio is not there for some of the few things that I do have. Well, that's because it has copyrighted music in it and. It'll instantly give me a copyright flag for the video upload. So we're going to go to the second place, and I will say something to him if he if he uh, starts playing the music again, because he will be there as well. So I don't know what we're going for the second place yet. So I guess we'll find that out when we get there. He didn't say. He just said to follow him. Actually. Yeah, he didn't say. Um, when we called earlier, they said something about a barn. So it might be a barn. I don't know. We'll find out when we get there. Mm. <laughs> So yeah, basically we're in what's called the Deaf House, and this is a like old timey photography studio <laughs> where you can like pick things out and dress up. Okay. And Kate, if you're in this room with me right now, this little rainbow box here, can you put it all the way to red for me to let me know that you're here or anybody that's here? It doesn't have to be Kate. Anybody that's with us right now, can you put this up to red for me, please? A little bit more. Come on. I know you can do it. There's lots of energy. It was raining outside. Lots of energy in here. Yeah, but I think that's because of the electricity in here. Because like this it thing tends has to, been, it, it it is fluctuating, which yeah. is odd. I'm no electrician, so I wouldn't know exactly why. But if there's somebody here with us, can you please touch that box and make it go up to red? Good push. 
Could you just push the rod as far as it shows that it's still here? Yeah, we're getting weird spikes on in this. We're just going to put in all the EMF detectors over here. Now, they look to the electricity in this place is, does seem to be spiking a little bit and stuff, but we're going to kind of... Yeah, it just went down to 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.2. All right, there's two of those rainbow boxes there. <laughs> they are spiking at the same time. That's interesting. And I said again. Keep doing it. Can you move that little ball? Like that. Just give it a kick. And you can have this dollar bill. I know a dollar goes a long way. I will give you this dollar. You can buy lots of cigars and cigarettes with this dollar. Are you still with us? Did you get that? No. Where'd you go? All you gotta do is kick that little ball. All they want you to do, just, just tap it. Don't even have to tap it hard. So we're filming this afterwards, but because we didn't really have time to talk about it before, but um, basically the place that we're going into is a really tiny itty bitty uh, old timey photography type of place where you can go and like you know dress up like you're in the civil war or whatever and they take pictures of you um except it's really super tiny um we basically stayed in one room the whole time but like there's a guy I forget his name but he was one of the during like the first day i think they said of the battle of gettysburg he basically got his jaw blown off yeah. um they had to like cram him into some child coffin and he's a full-grown adult and he sat in the corner of the place and um then his like love of his life came and she was like really upset because like he's dead and you know she like loved him and stuff so <laughs> um she went and she did what you do you become a nun um <laughs> and now for some reason she haunts the place she didn't die here or anything but she haunts the place they say i don't know um yeah and there's also supposed to be two um confederate spies that are jokesters yeah that also are supposed to haunt this location as well but yeah, that's going to wrap it up for this. Sorry if there's not a lot of footage, but again, there, we didn't have that much time here. Um, I mean, the tour, I guess, was it was fine. I don't know if, um, you know, if you're someone that goes to places a lot yourself, I don't know how fulfilling you'll find it. I mean, it is nice to be able to go into the, vacation, the locations. It wasn't too expensive, and the tour guide was really nice. You know, obviously, your group's going to be... Our group was pretty good. Like I said, that one guy, he wasn't a mean guy or anything. He just played music in the first place, but that wasn't this. But the place was so small, it was just kind of... I don't know, it was kind of crammed and... Yeah, yeah. It, it was really small. There was a lot of, like, I feel bad for the people that have to go through the evidence because you do actually get, like, a DVD with, like, your evidence and right. stuff like that on it. And I feel bad for them because there's so much contamination because there's so many people. There literally was about ten of us. Right. into this little house and, and you can see that because I mean, we didn't leave the one room too much because there's so many people in the outside or in the other room this yeah it was a, the other room was bigger so there's more there but i i walked out there briefly but i didn't really speak to anybody out there they were doing their own thing um like i said i don't really know i don't really feel like we got anything and if there was anything there um because again the contamination would be kind of hard to tell um, and the electricity in the place was really weird. They're kept being all kinds of EMF spikes, like, constantly. Yeah. But it was the place. So if we thought for a minute that, oh, maybe we're getting something, but I, I, I believe it was just Yeah, because we had two K2s literally sitting next to each other. Right. And they would go off at the same exact time. And it just seemed too coincidental to me. Yeah. To so, be anything. So I, so. so I don't really think we got much. Um, I mean, the play, it was fun. Um, the tour wasn't super expensive um, for what it was because it was a little over three hours long. You know, you get to go to two locations. And it is nice that they provide you with the equipment and stuff like that. Um, you know, if you're a seasoned and, you know, ghost hunter, just, just know it's, it's a public thing. So if you've ever done a public investigation, you just kind of have to... <laughs> Grin and bear it. Yeah, because you're going to be with a lot of other people. But um, there's a lot of different ones in Gettysburg, and we want to do more, but like I said, this is kind of a spur-of-the-moment thing, so we're like, well, let's just do this one. And I don't regret doing it. I think it was no. fun. Yeah, no, it was definitely fun. Yeah. Um, but if you've been to either of these locations, you know, what, what did you think about them? You know, you know let, let us know if you've been to either, if you've been on this tour, if anything happened to you, 
or you know anything that's happened to you in Gettysburg in general. Let us know your stories. Or you can also email us evidence if you'd like us to like feature it on like one of our shows that we do or something like that. But I think that I think that does it though. Um, it is late. We are going to our hotel and going to sleep. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye.